katakan ya, katakan in the exam they give you something like this. C to H six. Dia panggil macam ni je. Then they ask you, this is from which group? Dia daripada keluarga mana? Kalau dia tanya dia daripada keluarga mana, you kena buktikan. Buktikan dia macam mana? Dia akan jadi macam ni. Dia ada dua. Okay. Tapi kan, guys. Adakah formula ini belong to alcohol, carboxylic acid and ester? Adakah dia belong? No. Why it is not belong to carboxylic acid and ester and everything? Very good. Dia tak ada oksigen dan dia adalah hidrokarbon. Very good lah. Clever girl. Clever boy. Then, hydrocarbon, we have two types. We have two types. Either it is alkyne ataupun an dengan in eh. Uh, huh, alkyne. Kalau an, what is the formula of an? Cn, H2n plus 2. Cn, H2n. Okay, guys. Guys, saya nak tanya eh. Okay. Eh, kejap. Kejap, kejap, kejap. Lo, lo, ha. Eh, kelas, kelas. Okay, semua dengar eh. Okay, okay. Guys, in the very beginning, I have told you that the N stand for total carbon. The N stand for total carbon. Dekat sini ada berapa carbon sayang? How many carbon do I have? Dua. So C2, H2, N2, plus 2. Then here, C2, H2, N2. Mathematic. Then you get C2, H6. C2, H4. Very good. Guys, formula mana yang sama dengan yang atas? An or in? An or in? Therefore, ini adalah belong to an family and not belong to in family. That's the answer. Nampak tak? Pentingnya kita kena tahu formula. It is very important for us to know the formula because From the formula, I can identify I belong to which family. We are family. <coughs> Done. Okay, okay, okay. Sekejap, so, kita ada yang belum. Okay, dengar. So, you listen. You listen. You listen. Huh? You listen. Huh? Okay, done. Okay. Now, I erase this. Guys, now kita nak pergi kat nama. Dulu kan, dulu kan. Okay. Nak namakan satu karbon karbon. Example, eh, I give you something like this. CaCO3. What is this? Calcium carbonate, calcium carbonate. Very good, very good lah like you all. H2SO4. Sulfuric acid. Guys, let's say in the exam, you are given something like this. Let's see. Wait, huh? Okay, eh, jump, 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 jump. I'm looking at it. Aduh, orang ketuk pintu pula. Online classes ni bahaya tau. Tiba-tiba, orang masuk menjerit. Mak aku tiba-tiba masuk, dia menjerit, mati aku. So, let's say you are given. Sebab tu, setiap kali saya buat online classes, saya akan kunci pintu. O, H, O, H, B, R, C, L, F, C, C. What is this? What is this? Huh? 
Do you notice or not? Just now when I give you this, you can name this. When I give this, you can name this. The question is, bila saya bagi ni, semua kaku. Why? Now, you want to name this, they follow certain rules. Dia akan mengikut certain rules. I'm gonna teach you how to name this accordingly. Are you ready, guys? No, okay. Siapa tu? Dania. Da- Dania, sabar Dania. Dania, Dania. Dania, sabar Dania. Aku mute korang semua eh. Kalau perlu korang unmute. Okay, kalau perlu then you unmute. Kalau tak, kesian Dania. Dania, are you okay Dania? Dania? Dania okay eh? Takut dia dia kena kejar dengan parang je tadi. Bunyi dia. Okay, dengar sini. So, nak namakan benda ni, dia ada sistem dia. Kita panggil PRS. P-R-S. PRS stand for Perfix Root Suffix. Kau jangan cakap suruh saya translate eh. Dia sama je. B-M-B-I. Okay. Perfix Root Suffix. Kita, kenapa? Apa PRS ni cikgu? PRS ni adalah satu sistem yang kita guna untuk namakan sebatian karbon. In English, what is PRS? PRS is a system that we use to name a carbon compound. A carbon compound. Suffix ni, guys, suffix ni juga dikenali sebagai family name. Nama keluarga. Berapa keluarga korang belajar? Korang belajar lima keluarga. Very good. Keluarga dia siapa? An, in, all, oi, eight. Very good. An, in, all, oi, eight. Yang root ni juga dikenali sebagai total carbon. Aha, total carbons. <coughs> Di mana total carbon ni? Kita ada mat, at, prop, boot, pen. Eh, BM dengan BI, ejaan dia jaga-jaga sikit eh guys. Pen, hex, hep, oct, nan, deck. Okay, mat and pro boot pen hex hab of none that. Okay, good. Now you look at here. Now you look at here. What I'm gonna do? What I'm gonna do? Oh, perfect is what? Perfect ni adalah rules. Undang undang dia, syarat syarat dia. So bila kita ada perfect plus root plus suffix, maka dia akan jadi satu sebutan. Dia jadi kolok-kolok sebro. Ah, tajuk dia. Okay, good. Good. Kalau korang penat bercakap, you boleh chat dekat saya tau. So, I can see your chatting. Okay, good. Okay, dengar sini. Dengar sini eh. Now, I'm going to teach you the very basic one. Guys, do you still remember when you are in primary school, your teacher teach you suku kata? B, A, B, C, A, C, A, What is this? B, A, C, A, Okay. B, A, B, A, G, U, S, B, A, G, U, S. So, I'm, what I'm trying to say, what I'm trying to say, I'm going to apply This thing over here. Ah, how to apply this? So it's become. Let's say I'm take this yeah. It, it. Oh sorry, met and in. Dia jadi apa? Metin. It, 
propane dua suku kata propane ha jom macam ustaz mengajar mengaji eh metin etin propane butin pentin hexin heptin octin nonin dekin hmm tapi 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 sekejap sekejap dalam bm jap eh dalam B, bi is itin dalam bm this is bi bi kalau dalam bm itana jaga-jaga sikit bm and bi the spelling is quite important very important so kita pilih seorang untuk baca cek tajwid hari ni kita ada kita nak pilih siapa ya siapa the luckiest one izat hawari Izzat, oh Izzat. Jom kita cek ta- tajwid engkau. Jom, one, two, three. Kau BM ke BI? Ya, yeah, kau BM ke BI? BI, okay, very good. Proceed. Metin. Ah, 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 ah. Alhamdulillah. Ah. Alhamdulillah Very good, very good So, guys Siapa nak salin, cepat salin so, Kita akan sambung lagi tajwid Kita akan sambung lagi tajwid Okay, good Padam ni sikit Okay, guys Guys, untuk it, in, 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 untuk ini, jaga-jaga. Ini, dia akan start dengan itin. Dia tak start start dengan metin. For in, it will start with itin. It never start with metin. Kenapa? Saya akan ajar kemudian. Jadi, tajuk dia adalah itin. Dia jadi i dalam b ini eh i tin dalam b ini b i b m dia i i i apa i t na i t na i t na okay so tajuk dia i tin propin butin pentin hexin heptin octin nonin dikin Jom kita cek tajwid. Kita pilih Danish Narain. Danish? Oh, Danish. Okay. Let's check your pronunciation. Check. Aha. Aha. Proceed. Butin. Ha, ini muka adam eh. Ha. Heb. Ha. 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 Kena lancarkan lagi eh. Ha. Ni baru muka adam ni. Good. Tin, propin, butin, pentin, hexin, heptin, hoktin, nonin, dekin. Ha. Okay. Guys. Now we go to alcohol. We go to alcohol. Bila kita pergi alkohol, okay, janganlah kau, ha, jat eh, jat eh, jat eh, saya padam sikit. When I say alkohol, kau janganlah pula, eat, eat, tol, metol, metol, etol, propol, bun, ni apa ni? Kalau yang ni jadi apa? Fikri. <laughs> ha? Metol, etol, propol, ni apa fikri? <laughs> ya Allah kau ni Baru lepas Ramadan This is wrong So dia jadi macam ni It the Originally it is itin Itin So what do you have done ha, Ni ada perubahan tajwid Kita buang I dekat belakang Kita ganti dia dengan all Maka, 
dia jadi itanol. Ha, janganlah cakap butol, itol. Ha, ini adalah itanol. Dalam bahasa Melayu, itanol. Itanol. Okay, kita cek tajwid seorang. Kita nak pilih siapa? The luckiest one. Laili. Oh, Laili. Okay, Laili. BM ke BI? Okay, go. Start. Aha. Ah, ya. Yeah. Aha. 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 Ah. Aha. 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 Ha. Ha. Muka Adam berapa lama kau nak baca ni? <laughs> Metanol, etanol, propanol, etanol, pentol, hexanol, heptanol, oktanol, no, 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 dekanol, no, no. Ha, gitu, lancor. Oh, ini ustaz kan? Tahap tinggi sikit. Metanol, etanol, propanol, butanol, pentol, hexanol, heptanol, oktanol, no, 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 dekanol. Ha. Okay, so you are going to apply this thing over and over and over for entire of the series. So, for carboxylic, uh, for carboxylic, kau jangan sikit. Dia ada perkataan, kamu kena tambah, kamu kena tambah asid ke belakang. Metanoid asid. Metanoid asid. Propanoid asid, butanoid asid. Pentanoid asid, heptanoid asid, heptanoid asid, heptanoid asid, heptanoid asid, heptanoid asid. Understand? Ini adalah... So, malam ni boleh berdoa depan ayah, ma, ya. Yeah? Doa sebelum makan. Amin. Ini mazhab baru, ya. Yeah? <laughs> mazhab Al-Husina. Okay, guys. Listen. Listen, ya. Yeah? Okay. So, maksudnya, but there is a special case. There is a special case. Okay, dia dia ada untuk ester, untuk ester ni is a totally special case. I will teach you later. Uh, I will teach you later. Okay, so you don't worry. So guys, at this moment, ada tak apa-apa soalan? This is a very basic. Do you have any question? <laughs> 